district-wide approaches for programming are taken by the, taken by this region, and the reason why we are taking this is that it is informed by the overall by the overall programming choices that we have made in this. We are trying to use this approach to link up the national level um, um, uh, sector-wide approach ap approaches and tie them down at the district level with district level plans and. Uh, um, ens ensuring that the local government at the local level take responsibility and provide leadership for programming programming uh, processes at, in the in the in their own respective districts. As we go forward, it will be important that we use the district as a means of informing policy and uh, policy development and and policy and both policy and practice across different districts. But most importantly informing the national government and the national policy development process so that it is relevant to the communities. The only way to be able to do that is to ensure that our work is, is centered around the district plan. Unfortunately what has happened is that other development actors within the district have not engaged with the district development plan. And therefore the district development plan is remained largely a document that is just on paper and not always relevant to the implementation that is going on in the region, I mean in the, in the district, which makes it difficult for the district, for the, lo for the local government at the district, and the government in that, at that point, to be able to, 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 to accurately support development in the region and to control and manage it in such a way that all partners, all st sector players are held to account for their contributions in the, at the district level. The district-wide approach asks of, of our implementing partners to be more responsible to the communities and the districts that they work in. How do they do this? They do this by ensuring that what we do through these partners become part of the district, uh, the district plans. And because they are part of, part of the district plans, the district local government authority therefore have the responsibility and the authority to be able to monitor and hold our partners and ourselves to account. But we don't stop there. We believe and understand that this is not, is not a water aid agenda. The agenda at the district, uh, the ag agenda at the district level is a wider agenda for the entire district. And therefore, other partners have to be brought in and the district-wide approach provides the framework, allows government to be able to map out um, the development processes at the district level and use the experience that they are getting from there to inform policy, development and law um, and legislation processes at the national level. There are two levels of success that we would want to see. First of all, we, want to, we would want to see a district development plan that has all players within the district participating that is relevant to the context in that, in, in that particular district and which is informed very much informed by the legal and the policy processes at the national level as well. That's number one. Number two is that we would want to see a greater voice for the local, local sector actors. And this greater voice will be informed and directed by a sector plan, which you would call a, a WASH investment plan. This WASH investment plan will give greater voice to the communities to the partners and to the local government. In this way, what we will see at the end is an ability of the, of the lo local community to be able to hold um, all the other player, uh, sector players to account, but also to be able to deliver on their own part of the responsibility. In the district-wide approach, we do not see communities as beneficiaries. We are seeing them as integral part of, of, and, and a very important partner in the development process at the district level. This is, this is the kind of change we would want to see at that level. But again, we would also want to see a change in the way um, government at national level engage with the district. In, and and that's, that engagement uh, in, in a district-wide approach when it becomes successful should be two-way, where it is not just government sending in out resources to communities, but also getting ideas from, from communities on how best to tackle their wash problems and broadly 
their development problems.